Why, Why is, is there, there no bridge, bridge between, Ireland and, between Ireland and Great Britain? I mean, first of all, it's pretty far. I mean, yeah, you can obviously use the Isle of Man as a jumping off point, but then when it comes to some of these bridges, I'm like, is it is it really worth it? This would be a 21 mile long bridge. Like, dang, that's no easy feat, and cost 20 billion pounds. Looking so at sometimes how close I think it's just are, like a logistic thing. The idea thing. of building a bridge oh. seems pretty obvious. Well, yeah, he's using the kilometers here. The concept of an Irish sea bridge goes back to the Victorian era. Well, yeah, I'm so sure that they've been thinking about it for a while. Well, there are four different routes possible. Yes. Kintyre route. Oh, so maybe going across the Isle of Man really isn't a big popular choice or a good choice. Irish Mail route, Tusker route, and the most probable one, oh. the Galloway route. Okay. The bridge would cross... I don't know why I thought the Isle of Man was the best way to... I don't know. Okay. The, the flat map projections get me. The North Channel between Northern Ireland and Scotland at a distance of 45 kilometers. Hmm. The thing is, the bridge has to go above Beaufort's Dyke which is a 300 meters deep trench. Oh. It was also used by the United Kingdom as a place for dumping munitions. Oh it's estimated no, oh no. Uh, if I had a dollar every time that ended up being a horrible idea. That there are well over a million tons of munitions lying on the bottom of the trench. Oh, that's such a bad- from time to time. Jeez. Adding to that, the whole project would cost around 335 billion- Oh, maybe the article that I read was a little out of date. There has been a lot of inflation recently. 335 billion? I, I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it. Why is there no bridge between Ireland and Great Britain? Because Ireland doesn't want to get invaded. It again. Thank you for that worldwise hub. The you know, country that country didn't, that want, didn't independence. want independence. Yes, we talk so about Malaysia this all the time. Independence from Britain We're talking Singapore. Yes, because it was formerly known as British Malaya. So Malaysia becomes this one big thing. Apparently in 1957, I didn't know that exact date. And in 1963, these other regions, including Singapore, joined Malaysia. However, while the rest of Malaysia uh, was ethnically that's Malay, when actually, Singapore was ethnically more Chinese. Uh, and uh, the funny thing, yeah, is they're going to get kicked out. They didn't even want the independence. I guess that's what the video is going to get into. Why, two years later, Malaysia voted to kick out Singapore. Singapore ah. was upset, and its prime minister even cried on live. Yep, that's that's the most, I mean, it's infamous. I just watched this video live with everybody recently. Turns out Singapore is way better off for this, though. Singapore got rejected, went to the gym, became Giga Chad. Didn't realize that Singapore was mostly ethnically Chinese, though. Very nice there, map lad. Most Americans think Colorado is a perfect rectangle. It Every is not. map makes Colorado look like it has four sides, but in reality, yes. Colorado... No, there are very small deviations. It goes like a mile in or a mile out, and they're, they're probably going to talk about the biggest deviation it actually has 697 sites yes Just before the civil war when colorado borders were being established congress ruled colorado to stretch from the 37th degree the voice latitude so line to the 41st interesting degree later. latitude line and then from the 25th degree west longitude line to the 32 degree west longitude line so in theory i think that doesn't it mostly have to do with like farmers and property that's why the the lines are not perfect here Colorado was supposed to be a perfect rectangle but what congress forgot was that while lines of latitude never intersect and remain oh. parallel with each other lines of longitude are not parallel and all converge at the north and south poles. This leads Colorado mm. to actually Flat look maps. like a trapezoid, where when surveyors were assigned to follow these longitude and latitude lines to create the Colorado border, oh, they man. didn't take this into account and often steered off course. As they were pressed for time, instead oh. of going back and correcting where they steered off from, the surveyors instead It's funny because we just refuse to fix it to this day. We just gotta leave it. We're just like, uh, screw it. It's just like that now. Made steep corrections to get back on track, which were often a mile or even longer in distance. Wow. All of these corrections that had to be made. I mean, if you think about it, it is, it'd be, it is a little bit annoying to have to make this thing a perfect uh, a perfect rectangle, triangle. No, it's not a triangle, but yeah. In Colorado to not have four, but 697 sides. It's a lot more sides than a square. It's called a hexator. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word. Colorado is known as a 697 cider. <laughs> I've never heard that word before. You really have to zoom in to see some of that. So sometimes the line is just like a couple meters off. Well, if you want to call 860 meters um, a couple. Also, the corners are a bit off. I like how they got some of the straight lines perfect, and then they really messed up in other parts. Thank you for pointing this out for people. Very important for people to know this. Countries, countries that recently, recently changed, their changed their flag. Changed its flag from this to this I heard about this. Because Xbox the land. Resembled a sunflower, which they consider a sign of weakness. French President oh. Emmanuel Macron made the earth shattering yes. decision to go from using this variant of the French it's flag blue, to this one. It's blue. Slightly blue. I did like that. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, that was a change that happened a while ago. I remember when that happened. I do like that change, though. I do like the darker blue, to be honest. Funny. Mauritania added red bars to its flag in 2017. After oh, using 2017. After this flag for two years, Malawi went back to using this flag in 2012. I Libya like that choice in 20... From literally being just green to its current flag in 12. I kind of liked the green, though. It was so iconic. Imagine just like a green piece of paper and then flying that above your nation saying, that's us. <laughs> that's what we got going on. Its flag from this to this in 2010. Iraq removed wow, the stars 2010. From its... I don't even think I've seen that old 
old Myanmar flag. Where have I been? This looks really close to Taiwan. Maybe that's why they changed it. Iraq. Lesotho changed its flag from this to this in 2006. Venezuela Lesotho, added an okay. to its nice flag choice. in 2006 to represent the province of Guyana. Be sure to uh, join oh, is that why they want to invade Guyana? They got to make sure their flag is true. Very nice global things. You know, you think there would be more flag changes more often. It's like 197 countries in the world yet. You can talk about all the flag changes in 40 seconds that have happened in the last like 20 years. There's only been like nine changes. Oh, that's right. Afghanistan changed their flag in 2021. Tajikistan had a little upgrade. So there are little upgrades. We do have U.S. state flag changes too. That's kind of becoming more and more of a trendy thing for better or for worse. Here we go. Kirk is at and Mars. We own the moon and, and Mars. Everything else in space. Really? Called a space lawyer. I know They'll that. Tell you about the outer space treaty. Hmm. It was born from the Cold War when countries were racing to space. Oh, is this to not from nuke them? Over celestial bodies. Uh. Stuff in space is a common good. Open to everyone, unlike the ocean. I wonder skies. if the I wonder if the alien civilizations know this. They might need to call Saul. If it's us all. But what if you build a rocket, land on the moon, and pick up a rock? Is it your rock now? Or if it everybody's? Back to Earth, can it become your private property? It depends on who you are. They're sold. The oh US. man, I, he literally made the reference. That's cool. Many others are following new rules. The Artemis Accords. Yeah, we're probably going to make room for space mining. You even get a say. This is absolutely changing the next like 10, 20 years. Like as we continue to expand, maybe begin to colonize the solar system in like 100 years, uh, we're going to have to come up with all new laws. Zone around your landing. Also, we're not living the Cold War anymore. A lot of these are like Cold War era laws. Site so no one can disturb your work. But what if you land on a spot someone else wants? What if your rockets completely cover an asteroid? Yeah, there's going to be a race. What happens then? Russia and China have not signed the accords. There's no clear way to resolve disputes between everyone. This is going to so be a mess. You better pay those lawyers fees. Imagine a World War Three, but a World War Three that's fought on moon. <laughs> Why did I say moon? <laughs> on the moon. <laughs> That'd be cool, like space marines, and Halo style. Good space insurance. You may lose your rocks, space but at least... insurance. Man, I'm sad that I'm probably not going to be around to see this stuff. Yeah, I don't think so either here. I think they're absolutely right. Just wait until the U.S. finds oil on the moon. As always, love Kirk Kuzgat. Well, yes, What's the, the date of this map of, of, this map of flags? <laughs> I love this game. I really wish someone would build like a really easy website. Just, um, just do this format. You can find maps of flags. People have logged it all over the place on the internet. The year 1500, the year 1400. Just make a multiple choice like quiz game. out of. I, I don't know. I guess I should do the same thing. I'm too lazy. Though. Let's see if we can figure this out. First thing that I noticed was this older flag of Canada, which yep. means this map must be depicting the world before 1965. And the fact that we yep. have independent... Exactly. Africa, that was the second thing I'm going to get into. So past 1965, when a lot of the African countries got their independence. Algeria means this map must take place after 1962. Next up, check out the flag of Ghana, which is somewhat different from the modern flag. Oh, see, that's the cool thing if you use this format as like your like map flag game, is you can really determine, like you can really get into exact years. Like it's going to be a little bit easy to play the map dating map game if you're using just like different centuries like of course you're probably gonna be able to figure that out but exact years but in early 1964, it got replaced oh, that's with this, cool. which means our map must take place before that change. Now, check out these Caribbean islands. Most of these are still controlled by colonial powers, except Trinidad and Tobago, which has their own flag, which was adopted in August of 1964. This would be such a fun game, especially to do live. Like, if you don't know this information, it's easy to look up this information, but to be able to do it on the spot, like, this could be our geo-guesser geo moment. Kenya, however, is not yet independent, which means this map must take place before December of 1963. The problem with these maps, though, is we don't always know how accurate they are. They're usually built by somebody on the internet and they can be really accurate but there's always something slightly wrong and and slight errors will throw everything off Next, i think that's why this is northern it's yemen. really hard to make this these maps used to be the flag of northern yemen but was changed in november of 1962 the final thing that wow, I so he's going to find the exact day Syria, huh? which was changed in march of 1963 so using just vexilla logic knowledge we were able to narrow down the time span of this map's depiction to just four months that's the best wow that I was able that's to so incredible if something please let me know. that man i want to play this game so bad it was fun to see other people's logic. I feel like I probably start in Europe, but to hammer it down to the exact month is incredible. Very nice human, 1011. As a European, my eyes went immediately to the Balkans and Germany. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit easier for me, usually, to figure out the dates of different maps. Okay, yeah, like I said, please, somebody make this website. West Germany slash East Germany. Germany was separated, West versus East. West Germany being friends with France, uh, forced to eat croissants, which I, I guess they kind of liked that. Also forced to be friends and eat tea, drink tea with the British, uh, U.S. looking over the Berlin Wall, meanwhile, East Germany, <laughs> um, they're really intaking that communism effect, oh, the emo now, there's, oh, oh, goodness, 
how graphic is this? I'm so glad it stopped right there. I didn't want to see any more. The history in school, the history on YouTube shorts. That's why we're here, aren't we? These were like two long lost twins separated at birth that had two completely different parents and parenting styles. And obviously East and West Germany are still very affected by this to this day. It's like so many maps that show the drastic differences between the two sides. Oh, that's a very interesting name you got there, Axis. Nice job. Napoleonic Wars Speed Run by Mr. Spherical. Here we go. So we're talking like 15 years speed run all within us a minute. Prepare for chaos. Bam, immediately beat out Austria. I like how he upgraded. He definitely put a bunch of RPG points into his character there. Uh, he's fighting Russia. Oh, I love that Mr. Spherical is using the map at this time. Like, that's cool. It's easier to kind of get the idea. So we've got like an anime battle happening while like the map's in the background. Russia trying their best to go Super Saiyan, but at this point, Napoleon's just unstoppable against the Germans as well. Oh, well, very quickly, not anymore. Oh, he, he literally did the, the Dragon Ball Z thing, the little f fusion. So they're fighting the back and forth between France and Russia. This is the part that everyone knows about. They briefly froze for a little bit there. Beat Austria. Russia's frozen. But this is the issue. Yeah, throws them back. Let's see how you're going to do... I'm very curious how they're going to do the first exile of Napoleon. This is the end for oh, is this Waterloo? There is yeah. Nothing we can this do. is the last one. Oh, I, was, I thought he was going to stab himself. Seppuku moment. Pfft. That could have been cool, too. I know that they're French, but whatever. How else to end this? But there is nothing we can do. Very nice, Mr. Spherical. I feel like I don't put enough emphasis on how long the Napoleonic Wars lasted. You're talking 15 years purely with Napoleon, but also the French Revolution lasted eight years before that. So 23 years total. That's like three or four times longer than World War II. You can put World War I and World War II combined. If you were born in 1792, you would be a soldier on the front lines uh, at Waterloo at 23 fighting Napoleon again for your whole life <laughs> like this is all people really knew at that time we're fighting these wars and big thanks to my patrons Kansas was mentioned douchebag a fat normal Carmel amateur archaeology beautiful Megan Edward Frederick Hatterland Hedlund without Inquisitor Jack Zarius. Straven's John annoying friend Luxembourg loves heavy if you the hear pie. this I love the Mexican 760 and Zany Boy